Greetings and welcome to this informative briefing about the highly anticipated Actor Solar Electric Vehicle, which is expected to begin manufacturing in 2024. Having just finished its crowdfunding, this briefing aims to investigate the potential routes for beginning production, the amount of funds raised by Aptera, the anticipated amount to be raised from crowdfunding, the total amount required by the company for production, and the amount of funds Aptera needs to fully execute its highly anticipated production intent for the solar electric vehicle this year. Let's explore this in greater depth. Aptera Motors wants to utilize the enormous $33 million investment it has raised to begin producing its first-of-its-kind solar electric vehicle this year. In January 2023, Aptera debuted the launch edition of its three-wheeled solar electric vehicle, but it acknowledged that additional funding was required to begin manufacturing. Subsequently, the company launched a crowdsourcing campaign, claiming to have raised over $2 million in the last few days. A chance to reserve one of Aptera's first 2,000 vehicle reservation slots is available to those who invest more than $10,000. But first, in order to help YouTube understand your preferences and allow you to receive new video updates whenever they are uploaded on this channel, if you are enjoying this content, please support this channel by liking and clicking the subscribe button below. Regards, now let's go on. Aptera announced in March 2023 that 100 and one of its solar-powered electric cars would be available for pre-order via Sustainability Tuner. The $3.35 million transaction is worth it. Originally, production was scheduled to begin before the end of 2023. The California Energy Commission CEC, awarded the business a $21 million grant in March to help with the production of cars and component parts. However, the company has just announced that the initial phases of production will be funded by the recently acquired money. The last stage, according to the firm, is to generate money for the procurement of tooling and equipment for high-volume production after production intent vehicles have been validated. There are many trailblazers, visionaries and people who question the status quo in the Aptera community, says Chris McCowan, the company's community and content manager. The few other solar EV firms vanished and other electric vehicle startups struggled during market downturns. We were aware it wasn't our tale. For the people, by the people, we are creating a solar-powered car with the support of our enthusiastic community. Aptera claims that the launch edition will provide 700 watts of solar power in addition to a 400-mile range. With the latter, the car should be able to use solar power to travel 40 miles a day approximately. Chris Anthony, co-founder and co-CEO of Aptera says, We were amazed by the overwhelming support from thousands of prospective Aptera owners when we first launched Aptera as a solar mobility company. We are committed to obtaining the remaining funds needed for scalable, high-volume production of our solar EV, with over 46,000 reservation holders. Through a community-led initiative, Aptera raises $33 million to finance the first stages of solar electric vehicle production. On January 31st, Aptera Motors announced the triumphant conclusion of its accelerator program, which raised more than $33 million to finance the first stages of production for the world's first solar electric vehicle. Through the community-driven accelerator program, anyone who contributed $10,000 or more to Aptera's crowdfunding campaign may secure one of the company's initial 2,000 car reservation slots. Launched in January 2023, the program raised a substantial amount of money all year long and picked up steam after the new year, raising nearly $2 million in the last few days. The total investment amount for each accelerator space was rated, with the top position earning about $4 million. There are many trailblazers, visionaries and people who question the status quo in the Aptera community, says Chris McCowan, the company's community and content manager. The few other solar EV firms vanished and other electric vehicle startups struggled during market downturns. We were aware it wasn't our tale. For the people, by the people, we are creating a solar-powered car with the support of our enthusiastic community. One of the participants in Aptera's accelerator program, Len Nowak, says, I was drawn to the idea of having one of the first solar-powered cars. The accelerator program caught me off guard. 
so I wanted to learn more to give this innovative vehicle and company a greater opportunity of realizing their potential. With its innovative design that wisely uses Earth's natural resources and uses solar power to power most daily driving needs, Aptera demonstrates its dedication to revolutionizing transportation for the future of our world. The company is setting new benchmarks for environmentally friendly mobility with its patented design for two-axis automotive-grade solar panels, an efficient powertrain, and one of the most energy-dense battery packs. The launch edition car, Aptera's initial offering, has an industry-best 400-mile range on a single charge. With its roughly 700 watts of solar cells, the launch edition can harness the power of the sun to propel its driver an extra 40 miles per day on solar power alone. Not only is Aptera changing how cars are constructed and how much energy they require to move around, but it is also changing how businesses are financed. Aptera is one of the most successful crowdfunding efforts to date, having raised over $100 million in the last two years by using equity crowdfunding instead of traditional techniques. We're changing how world-shaping ideas come to life thanks to our solar mobility movement, says Chris Anthony, co-founder and co-CEO of Aptera. In order to guarantee a beneficial impact on our society and the environment, not only how they are funded, but also how communities are developed around them. An important turning point for Aptera has been reached as the firm now has the funds to finance its first stages of production, thanks to the $33 million raised through the Accelerator program. The company has acquired low-volume tooling and built its first production intent cars, which will be utilized for testing and validation with the help of funds raised through this initiative. The final step is to generate money for the procurement of tooling and equipment for high-volume production, which should need 10 times less capital than traditional automakers, after Aptera's production intent vehicles have been validated. We were astounded by the tremendous support from thousands of potential Aptera owners when we first launched Aptera as a solar mobility company, says Chris Anthony. We are committed to obtaining the remaining funds needed for scalable, high-volume production of our solar EV, with over 46,000 reservation holders. Even though Aptera's accelerator program is no longer accepting applications, anyone can still join its solar mobility movement by becoming a stakeholder at invest.aptera.us. According to Quincy Hiller, Senior Manager of Marketing Communications, we are fostering a sense of collective ownership and responsibility towards not only this vehicle, but the future of our planet by democratizing ownership and inviting individuals from all walks of life to become shareholders. Aptera reaffirms its leadership role in the solar EV revolution, while expressing gratitude to its investors and community for their tremendous support. The Accelerator program will help to accelerate the production schedule and eventually realize the goal of universally accessible and sustainable solar mobility. Undoubtedly, the Aptera Three Wheelers successful crowdfunding campaign in February of this year brought it one step closer to production. In 2006, the California-based business debuted a three-wheeled electric car. Co-founders Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony regained control of the company in 2019 after an 18-year turbulent ride filled with bankruptcies and ownership changes. In the interim, we've been treated to multiple three-wheeler powertrain iterations. The most recent was introduced as a general idea in 2020, with the finished model making its appearance early this year. The tricycle ran on batteries and had composite bodywork covered with 700 watts of solar panels. Under perfect circumstances, the panels could power a 40-mile daily range, while the batteries could power an estimated 400 miles. The car was set to reach 60 miles per hour in 4 seconds and reach a top speed of 101 miles per hour thanks to the three motors in the wheels. The 32 cubic feet of storage in the hatch may have come from a huge Tesla while the straightforward cockpit may have been from a very small Tesla. But the issue remained the same as it had been in 2011, the year of the business's initial liquidation. Aptera required capital to launch its product, but thanks to recent crowdsourcing, significant finance was raised to begin manufacturing this year. This is the Accelerator program, which the founders started. It was essentially a new Kickstarter campaign with a $20-$50 million funding goal. 
that developed into a $10,000 deposit reservation scheme for 2,000 launch edition actors. With extras like a book detailing the design and production process, and an Aptera Accelerator jacket for those who contributed $15,000. Prior contributions, which helped collect more than $100 million, would not be applied to this campaign because it was a fresh promotion for a new car. Instead, a new $10,000 payment was required in order to make a reservation. However, all of a contributor's prior investments were included after that. An investor from Maryland invested $10,000 $500 to secure the first spot in the most recent Aptera number no. one coup. This individual has contributed over $1 million to the firm overall. Aptera celebrated the campaign's year-long completion and 2,040 participants, almost $34 million investment. The money unlocks a $21.9 million grant from California's solar mobility manufacturing project and puts the business into pre-production and validation testing. The award is only refundable if Aptera purchases $21.9 million in production equipment to manufacture the vehicle in the state. Otherwise, Aptera will receive reimbursement from the California Energy Commission. According to the corporation, equipment purchases are 60% complete, and production is anticipated to begin in 12 months. Naturally, in a story like this, a year distant could signify anything, even nothing at all. The company has been transparent about its need for more funding following pre-production in order to scale up retail vehicle manufacturing. $50 million is the estimated amount. Aptera's 46,000 reservations and longevity suggest that anything is possible in terms of funding if the company can demonstrate a car with production intent that can fulfill its claims. For those who are interested in following along, we have released a video update that includes information about the upcoming app, the batteries, the manufacturing process, and some vehicle modifications that will hopefully smooth the transition to reality. And with that, we wrap things up for the time being. I appreciate you taking out time to watch.cu in the next video.